Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. I am going on a three-day hike with my 13-year-old daughter in Colorado, so stay tuned. Okay, we're at the trailhead right now. We're over at the Abyss Trailhead. And uh, I hiked this trail 20 years ago, or about 20 years ago. I'm not sure the exact year, but it's about 20 years ago that I hiked this trail. And it's just kind of fun to be able to take my, my daughter with me. It's a, her most challenging um, backpacking um, trip so far. Again, it's going to be three days that we will be out here. We're climbing a lot as well. We got 14ers on either side of us and a valley kind of down the middle and we'll be heading up the valley. So we're going to be climbing about a thousand feet carrying our backpacks. So I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to take you guys along. Where's my hat? Where's my hat? Okay, we're heading out. And today we're gonna hike um, about a thousand feet. So to give you an idea, we start at about 9,200 feet and our destination is about 12,200 12, feet. Um, and then we're doing a there and back. We were originally planning a loop but uh, decided last minute just to do a there and back that um, it might be a little much. So how many miles total did we figure? Like 18. Eight, 18 miles. Madison wanted to do a 30 mile trail. I said that's a little bit much for, you know, your first really big one. So that'd be 10 miles a day. That's 10 miles a day in the Rockies. That's a tough day. So um, we're, gonna, we're gonna cut it a little bit and do about 18 miles. And um, we might go off a little bit because sometimes I'll pitch up tent and I'll kind of go for a little day hikes and stuff like that. So it might eventually end up being 20, but um, so we have a lot of climbing ahead of us. <laughs> Lots of climbing. Um, even a thousand feet in a backpack is, it's a lot of work. So uh, Madison's been training for this and uh, she's a little nervous. You a little nervous? Yeah. You a little nervous? So you're going to see her with her earbuds in, uh, just so you know. Um, and the reason for that is that we just got told that she has to memorize some lines. She's actually auditioning for a, a play. And, um, and she has to memorize the song by Monday. And today's Friday and we don't get back until Sunday night. So um, I told her it was okay for her to listen to the song and it will help her practice because she's going to be singing it on the trail. What do you think guys? I think the deer are eating. That's my guess. This was some food for them.
They look beautiful. Careful. Are we scary? Okay, we have hiked two miles so far um, and we've hit a stream and we ran into some beautiful horses um, that I knew if it was my horse, Missy would have freaked out if she saw people in their um, she would back. She freak out anyway. Yeah, she'd probably freak out anyways. Uh, Madison's working on getting my horse out on the trail. Um, but I don't have a trailer. I can't trailer in or anything like that. Um, so we're going to have lunch and the lunch that I brought needs to be cooked. So we're going to hang out here for a little bit. Weather looks good so far. We do have some rain clouds in the air, in the air, in the sky. Um, so if they start combining together, we're going to get some rain, but um, that's okay. I think that, you know, we're prepared. We got our rain jackets and stuff like that, so we're fine. And uh, the new tent I have, which I'm going to show you, it's brand new. This is actually going to be the first time using it. And um, it's a two-person tent, and it's really fast to get up. In fact, I think we should time ourselves to see how fast oh, we can yeah. get that tent up. We might end up doing it really fast anyways if it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the things with the tent that I look at is how fast does it take for me to get that tent up? Um, because a lot of times in the storm, the first thing I want to do is get my tent up and get inside. So um, let's get some lunch going. We just have noodles, nothing special, um, like more like ramen or cup of noodle type noodles. So we're going to have um, noodles and then we're going to hit the trail again. It's hot. <laughs> Is it spicy? Mm hmm. Mm. It's hot and spicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot and spicy noodle. That's a flavor. <laughs> Check out that view. And I'm going to get out of it here soon so you can see it a little bit more. But I just want to say I am so proud of my daughter. I truly am. Let me see. I think I zoomed in. There we go. Much better. I'm so proud of her because like I was like hey I'm gonna go um, and I was kind of testing her a little bit you know I'm like I'm gonna go pump some water why don't you get the stove started and uh, start boiling some water and she did it she did it all by herself I'm so proud of her anyways I'm gonna have a lot of mommy moments I'm sure on this this trip because I I'm just happy I got someone to, to backpack with and uh, she really enjoys it and really likes to see the scenery. So speaking of scenery, let me show you what I'm looking at. So we're right next to the river. Yep. What is that mountain called though? Oh, Mount Fierce Path. Okay, yeah, point at it. Right on, on, the, in there. Just point up. I don't know if they can see it too well. You guys see that mountain? It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see in my camera. That mountain is a 14er. Mount Beerstadt. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, yep, remind me of that tomorrow. So, we've been hiking for a little bit, and now we're, this is not on the trail, but it's a little path. <laughs> yeah, we're like, where does this go? So, the curious as I am, I want to check it out. Oh, I think it goes to a, here, you guys can see. Let me show you. That's cool. Yeah. I bet it's a camping spot. Oh, this is a good one too. 
Uh, I agree. Look out. That's really pretty. There's a bunch of camping sites here. So there's a tent. Do you guys see him? So we're gonna. We're not gonna bother them. Okay. Okay. We were curious. Okay, back on the trail. We're tourists. <laughs> we're tourists. We're, we're taking pictures of trees because we're, we're tourists. This, uh, this area is really pretty and I'm going to show you because I don't know what we call it. It has a really cool vibe to it. Very nice vibe. It has all these like aspen groves. I don't know. Aspen has like a very good vibe. Yeah, I really... I do like aspens too. But they die fast. But they're like everywhere. It's so beautiful. Yeah. But we have like a whole acre of aspens too. We have a lot of aspens on our land. We're not at the top. <laughs> but we have like two whole acres of only aspens. Yeah. So we really like this area right here. If we were to pitch a tent, this wouldn't be a bad area too. Yeah. But we gotta continue on. We got some miles to get under Madison's feet. <laughs> These feet over here need to be hiking some more miles. Yep. Yeah. And we keep going. If we keep going. Tomorrow's hike will be shorter. Yep, that is true. We're looking at a about an eight minute hike or eight minute. <laughs> eight, like four mile, four mile hike straight up and then down four miles. Yeah, it's gonna be close to an eight mile hike tomorrow depending on where we pitch our tent. Yeah. And uh, what are we thinking, 2,500 feet climb? tomorrow yeah yeah Maybe. so I don't know exactly how many feet we have to look at the map I don't have the map I have the map in my hand <laughs> look at that. I can totally figure it out but guess what I'm not gonna figure it out right now you guys are gonna you gotta you have to keep watching to find out how many feet we're gonna climb this is where I like to go to see what kind of footprints I see to see what kind of animals are in the area Ooh, there's some dogs. Uh, dogs like that one looks, let's see, that one right there. I thought at first it might have been kitty, but it might be a really tiny dog. But, yeah. and when I mean by kitty, I'm talking about a large yeah. kitty. Yeah. Little kitty kitty. Yeah, little kitty kitty. <laughs> Big kitty kitty. Nice kitty. <laughs> look how pretty this grass is. In fact, I don't think I've seen that kind of grass before.
job. You know what's best about backpacking is when you can rest on a rock that is at the perfect level. <laughs> so like we're standing. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Madison's getting our bearings. This trail has a lot of different trails going off. It's a pretty popular trail. We're here on a Friday morning-ish. So I, there's not that many people here, but tomorrow it's gonna be, I'm sure, packed. Um, but, uh, so a lot of people are camping around the area, doing a lot of dispersed camping. And because there's so much, there's so many human trails everywhere that uh, we gotta make sure we're on the right trail. I'm pretty sure we are. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. It's very popular. Yes. Very but popular. we've only seen one couple. One couple and then those people on a horseback. And that was it. That's all we saw so far. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, we're approaching higher elevation now, and you'll see how the trees are getting a little bit shorter. <laughs> and they're different trees too. You can see we got some blue spruce trees. These are the kind that we have at Spear Forest Madison right here. We have some of these on our land at Spear Forest. See how they look. Are they cute? They're so cute. Yeah. That would, that would be like Christmas tree right there. <laughs> Christmas tree would be. Yeah. Or that one too. Her dad's been trying to pick out a Christmas tree on Spirit Forest and marking it. So we just passed these uh, this two ladies and they have to be probably in their 70s and they're hiking this trail. Now they're not going all the way to the top like we are, but this is still a good hike for them. And I'm just, I just feel so good seeing other ladies out here, you know, especially ones at an older age, because so many people say, you know, I'm just too old for that, or I wish I did that 30 years ago, or, you know, and they're doing it. And it just, I don't know, it inspires me when I see that, and uh, a huge smile. And I, we sat, or we didn't sit, we, we stood and talked to them for a bit, and uh, nice, nice ladies, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, they're yeah. so nice. Yeah, it was really, it was really nice. It inspires me just to keep going, stay in shape, so that I can keep doing this when I'm 70. Take a look at this, you guys. I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but, it, it's killed the tree. Do you think that was a deer that took the bark off the tree? Being at the level it's at from the ground, kind of looks like it. It's kind of sad. Okay, right now we're looking for a camping spot. We've hit the, the river destination that we are looking to hit, which is good. 
Um, we have more energy. We could actually go a little bit more. Sorry, the bug was eating me. Um, but tomorrow what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna see if it, it's gonna focus. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna climb up this little hill right here. And then do you see that right there? That is another 14er called Mount Evans. And you can actually drive to the top of that one. I think it's one of the um, two, um, two 14 14ers in Colorado that you could um, get transportation to the top. So we're gonna nestle ourselves in between tomorrow and see if it shows a little bit more. There's a lot of bugs right here. Uh, we're gonna nestle ourselves in between two 14ers. So that's one, and the other one's over here, you can't see in the trees, but, um, whew, lots of bugs, lots of bugs by the river. So, uh, whew, I'm getting eaten alive. Okay, <laughs> good, I gotta get some pants on again. Uh, okay, so that's what we're doing tomorrow. So stay tuned for that video, because this is gonna be a part two, two part video. Um, and we're, that's an eight mile hike to get back to where we need to get to. Uh, four miles in and four miles back. Um, we're gonna set up our tent um, as like a base camp and then we're gonna do a day hike back in there and then um, come back. Okay, Madison's found a camping spot. We dropped our pack and so she's leading me the way to this secret camping spot. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I fit through that. <laughs> Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, she's taking me all around the place. Where are we going? No one's gonna find us here. Hey, you guys might notice that we don't have Rocky with us, and I'm gonna talk about that here soon. So stay tuned for that. Oh, we're going in a whole circle. Yeah, we were just there. It's all good. It's all good. She found it. Oh, it has a fire ring and everything. I see, I like it. I like it a lot. Good vibe. Yeah, good vibe. Yes, we like the aspens. Menace and I love aspen. Oh, and a really cool tree over there. We can explore these rocks for a bit. This will be fun. This will be fun. I gotta get some pants on because I'm getting eaten alive. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, I told you I got a new, brand new tent. Um, I'm not getting paid or anything to sponsor this company. I just wanted to show you got a brand new tent, um, my other two-man tent. Um, got uh, the poles broke and then it was really tough to fix it and I couldn't get it fixed. So um, I'm going to use this one. It's brand new. Now I don't have a, a footprint for it, but I have my footprint for my three-man tent that I'm just going to improvise and make work. You know, um, footprints for these are like $60 too. It's really crazy. Um, but I did call the company and um, they are out of stock. So there is no footprint for this tent at this moment. So Madison is going to time me to see how fast I can put up this tent. Because again, that is one of the things that I look at when I purchase tents is how fast does it take for me to put up the tent. So Madison's gonna film, but we're gonna like, cause I don't have a lot of cover. I mean, I don't have a lot of battery, so um, we're gonna kind of do it in little stages and stuff that you'll be able to see me put this thing up. Um, but we won't lie and we'll be truthful in how long it takes me to put up that tent. Okay. Ready? Nope, oh, oh, I gotta get in position. Go. One minute. Two minutes. Okay. Two minutes. Are we counting the rain the rain fly too? No, just the tent. Okay. Two 
two minutes and 50 seconds. That's, yeah, it's pretty fast. Okay guys, the reason why I do that is because if there's a rainstorm, I just like to know I can get my tent up fast. I do know I don't have the rain fly on there, but when it's raining, all I do is just throw it over. Sometimes I don't even uh, secure it to the ends. And it just tells me that it's a pretty good tent. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with that. This is only the second time I put it up. So it's not too bad. It's not too complicated. It's just an X, um, but it is at a, a rectangle instead of a square. So that's, that lost me some time. Um, but I think I can possibly get this 10 up within a, um, I'd say a minute and 50 seconds another time. So we'll keep timing it in other videos. Okay, we got the tent up, staked down. All we need is the, um, the rain fly on there, but I usually wait until it actually rains and then I put it on there. Um, and there is a rain cloud coming. I can hear the thunder rolling in. Um, but I wanted to talk about my tent just a little bit. And the reason why I cho chose this tent over other tents and the reason why I did that. Now again, uh, if you don't know my channel, I've been backpacking for over 20 some years. So I've gone through a lot of tents during the, that time. Um, and the type of tents that I like the most is um, this kind that is has all the mesh on the top and very little, um, I don't, what, uh, what material you call it? You know, I've been backpacking for so long, but I can't remember the names of stuff. But anyways, when, I, like, I like it with the mesh because as you can see, Madison's in there and uh, she is secure from all the bugs as I am out here getting eaten alive. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, I, I like it because then you could sit out, you know, you could be protected from the bugs and you can still kind of look out. Um, there's a lot of tents that show like half of it to be, um, God, I can't remember what this material is called, to be this, this type of material and you can't really see all around. And I like being able to sit in there and see all the way around. It's not a it's not a winter tent, and um, in a winter tent you want to have a little bit more of this. You know, it kind of secures you more from the wind. So um, you know, I do have the rain fly over, and the rain fly comes to about here, so it protects me. But when there's a lot of wind, I'm not very protected, um, so it can get really cold in, inside the tent. That is the downfall of these type type of tents. Um, however, I don't do a lot of backpacking or sleeping. Um, above the alpine level. Um, if I were, I would bring a different tent. Um, when we get inside the tent, I'll kind of show you some more stuff inside the tent, um, but you'll see Madison is very comfortable. <laughs> How's it feeling there, Madison? Bug free. So Madison is, I don't know, stretch out, like, like straight, go straight, straight in the tent. Okay, Madison is five foot five. five. She's about the same size as me. She's getting, she's getting tall. She's gonna be taller than me. So she's five foot five. For us, it's perfect. You know, um, if you're over six feet, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if this like would be the right more, There's this much space. There's that much space. So, um, yeah, but I think for us, it's just fine. We have, uh, we still have some extra room by our heads. Yeah, I don't, I don't like bug spray though. That's why I don't like, I don't put on bug spray because um, that's why I wear long s sleeves and long pants. But every once in a while I do. It just, I don't like smelling like bug spray. Um, right however, this is, there's a lot of bugs in this area. Yeah. Um, okay, so I want to talk about Rocky. You guys notice Rocky's not here. And it's so sad that he's not here because it, it feels weird. Doesn't it feel weird without him here? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it feels really weird. I, and like once I was looking in there, I'm like, oh, we, I have to find a spot for Rocky. Yeah. You know, he like goes the opposite place where I want him to. Yeah. Rocky is injured. Um, I actually, if you saw my other, I think it was probably my last backpacking video that I posted um, was me and the girls going backpacking. Um, and then we arrived back at Spirit Force. See that? See that? That, that just... Ugh. Then we were, this is, sorry, this is really distracting. Um, then we arrived back at Spirit Force and something happened. Um, I don't know what it was, but he ended up um, injuring himself. And, uh, oh, the storm's coming. Do you feel rain? No. Oh. Um, he ended up injuring himself and uh, hurt his tail. Like his tail 
um, would not go up. And then Madison, I was like, oh, he won't put his tail up. He's just no energy. Something's wrong. And so Madison, as a kind of a joke, put up his tail, not to be mean or anything like that, but just like, Rocky, be happy. And she pulled up his tail like that and he whined. And we're like, uh oh. Now, he had plenty of energy because we actually did take him on a day hike, and I got a video of that too. But um, we took him on a day hike, but his tail never went up the entire day hike. You can tell that he wanted to put his tail up um, and that he was happy and he was having like, a good time. Kind of like in the middle. But yeah. He had a lot of energy. He had a lot of energy. He just didn't, his tail didn't go up. So we thought it was a bee sting. We thought he maybe got a bee sting. And so then um, we called into the vet. Or the girl's daddy called into the vet and uh, found out that it um, it heals after like 24 hours in a dog. Like they should be okay after 24 hours. But his tail still wasn't up. And we gave it two full days, two or three days, two days, something like that. Something. Yeah, three days. Yeah, maybe it was three days. And so we had to make a decision whether or not he was going to go on this adventure or not. Um, being that we're going for a long period of time, I just decided that... Um, it would be best to have him at 100%. Oh, then to not have, I oh, gotta hurry. Those are big, those are big fat raindrops. I have to collect chocolates so we can start them. Yes, okay, we, we gotta go. So, end of the story, Rocky's not here. He's injured, he's with the girl's daddy and uh, I will pick him up here in three days and we're taking him to the vet. So, in fact, I think he might be going to the vet today, um, but but I have no coverage to find out. Okay, let's get the rain fly going. So we are now in the tent, and there's thunder and lightning, and everything's going on. There's Madison over here. Um, we're kind of squeezed into this little area, but you know what's really cool about this tent? Is that it has an unbelievable height to it. Like she's so sitting in a chair. I'm sitting in my chair. See my chair? I'm in my chair, in my tent. You guys probably totally just did this twist when I did that, right? <laughs> <laughs> when <Yeah>. I did it. <laughs> oh, okay. So Madison is practicing. You want to try it? You want to do it? Know. Could the people oh. hear me? No, I, mean, I think All we're right. good now. Yeah. We just had some hikers we heard, and we didn't want to make sure yeah. they don't hear us play the flute. Okay, man. She's gonna. She learned this. Okay, we've been. This is our day eight, right? You've been. Yep. We've been in the wilderness, eight. and we've been in the wilderness or camping for eight days. Eight so, days. <laughs> so um, during those eight days, Madison has. Um, we got this. We got this flute from a subscriber of ours. Actually, it's for Kyla, but Madison has kind of stole it a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> so she is going to um, play you a song, but she just learned it. So, so be nice. <laughs> yes. I mean, look, we got nice thunder in the background for and our for our drums. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah, okay. So rusty. she's a little squeaky. She's a little rusty. It's I okay. I, I gave him. I gave him a warning. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Try it. Where? <laughs> you got a hole right there. You got a hole. Oh. There. <laughs> You're all nervous. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we got for eight days. Isn't that awesome? Good job, Madison. <laughs> so she's going to teach me how to play it because I don't know how to play it. But that is a um, an um, Irish whistle. whistle. Um, not a flute. <laughs> it's not focusing on it. Here we go. See if we can get it to focus. Come on, you can do it. It's in D. Uh, Irish whistle in D. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. Kyla loves playing her... Um, Harmonica. harmonica. Yeah, yeah, she likes playing harmonica. So Madison was sitting around like, I want to play something. Oh. And so she, she's she been practicing that, which is really cool. You've done such a wonderful job at it so far. I, I look forward to hearing more. <laughs> <laughs> it actually really has a nice kind of ring to it. So yeah. we're going to sit in the tent and practice a little bit while the storm yeah. hopefully just passes by and then it warms up again. Yeah. Rain. 
around here. Tomorrow we're going to go all the way up there if we can. <laughs> yep. If I'll survive. You guys can see that's Mount Evans, a 14er, and you can drive all the way up to Mount Evans. Really windy road, but you can get there. And then the other 14er, point out the other 14er, Mount Bierstadt. So you have Mount Evans and Mount Bierstadt, both 14ers, and we're going to be in the middle. Yep, right there. So that storm lasted about, I don't know, 30 minutes. And now we got blue sky. Oh, I love Colorado. We're gonna go on a little walkabout. Yeah, don't be silly. We're not leaving the camp without hanging our food first. We're in bear country. I'm having a little snack. I'm having a little apricot. Oh, yummy. I love um, dried apricots, but only the California kind where they cut it in half. So, what do you got there, Madison? I'm gonna try to hang it on that dead one up there. Okay, should I get out of the way? I should get out of the way. Now, make She's sure throwing rocks. Lean back at me. Okay, Madison. If you did it swing back at you? And, un and untied? Yep. You know what a trick is, is to put the rock in your sock. I actually have a video on that. Oh, Got it. oh it didn't untie. Yep. You, you want me to try it? Like it? We're gonna get there. Okay, so we got it now. So the whole reason for this, if you haven't seen any of my videos, where is the end of it? It's up there somewhere on this dead branch up there. Um, we're gonna hang our food up there so the bears can't reach it or the chipmunks because actually I've had more problems with chipmunks and yeah. squirrels than I had with bears getting at my food. Um, okay so we're gonna hang it up and I'll just kind of show you really fast or kind of what we did. Okay so now we can kind of see the bag up in the tree. So there's a rope right there that connects down there so all we need to do is loosen that up and then the bag will drop. It's high enough and away from the trunk so if a bear were to climb it um, they could not reach over and hopefully a chipmunk <laughs> won't go there as well. So that is our theory. It has worked every time here in Colorado. Hey Madison I double dog dare you to go on that one. Okay. <laughs> ah, she's gonna get wet. Oh, not bad, not bad. That's awesome. You have no adventure. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want to see this. This is really pretty over here. We've been looking for food on the trail every everywhere. We see strawberry plants, but no strawberries. Look, look, there's a strawberry in here somewhere. Come here, strawberry. Oh, he's kind of, oh, yours looks the best. Look at that, that is awesome. You gonna eat it? Have to wash it. it. Yeah, <laughs> but we wash it. Don't wash it in the river. We have, we have to filter that water. I know that. 
Uh, but Pick like, some good ones. That is awesome. It's not worth yelling your name, but. Oh, you know what? I have I have water here. Oh yeah. Here, guys, look at there's my cup. <laughs> hey, look at the Madison matches. You match the cup. I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. I'll take this one. Strawberry. Cheers. Cheers. Duh. Wow, that has, a, that has a lot of flavor to that little, little piece. Wow. That is very good. Good find, Madison. So we are exploring through all of these beautiful aspens and um, I was thinking that I would do a bow drill. That would be kind of fun if, if we have time tomorrow or maybe the morning of the next day. Um, I'll do a bow drill fire. I can't do a fire because we're in a fire band. But um, maybe what I could do is I can practice because um, practice getting an ember. And um, look what I found. Isn't that, isn't that cool for, a, for the top? So anyways, that's a good find. I'm happy with that. And now I'm looking for some other dry wood. If I can find some good ones, then I will let you know. I'm hoping I have enough time. If I have enough time, I'll make a bojo fire. Ooh, that's a good stick. So Madison's currently, I'm gonna slowly pan around. See that one you're stepping on? It's kind of off the ground. If we can find a way to cut that one up, that would be good. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so Madison and I are working on some wood whittling, wood making projects type thing. Um, but as we were working on these wood projects, we were sitting here being really quiet, and this guy decided to shoot his gun in our area. I don't know which direction it, the bullet was headed, and now we're kind of nestled into all of these trees and you can't see where we are. And we like it that way. We like it that nobody knows where we are and we can just kind of be us in our own little area. Well, when someone's shooting bullets, like literally, like right down there, um, I lost my temper. You I, like screamed at them. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, what did I do? You like screamed at them. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna lose my voice. That's how much I lost my temper a little bit. But rightfully so. You don't shoot. You don't shoot your weapons out in the wilderness. And like, I don't know if they're shooting my direction or what. Um, the only other people that we saw as we were doing our little walkabout um, was this couple. It was a guy and, and a woman a couple. So yeah, I, I screamed and then I, and I, you know, I'm giving away where I'm at because now I'm screaming and, uh, and I yelled You'd at the- You'd rather not be shot. I'd rather not be shot. Yeah. And my daughter, 
my daughter's here. So I literally just went into like mama bear mode and went just, I don't, I, I don't think I've yelled that loud in a long time. So anyways, I told, I yelled, I said, you don't shoot your gun here. You know what I mean? I mean, there's people like he doesn't know, like we don't know. There could be, so, I don't know where he's aiming his gun. You know, it is possible he could be aiming it somewhere safe, but I have no idea. So I'm a little. Where can I go? Well, he ended up answering back, so I know exactly where he was, you know. Um, and I'm not going to go down there and approach him, but I'd rather kind of stay up here in the trees. And if he decides to come find me, then then that's fine. Then we'll 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 have some words. But you know, I don't I don't think this guy meant any harm. Um, I told him not to shoot his gun again, and he we think he yelled no worries. Or something like that, like no problem. Um, I didn't say anything back. I was just like, that was just extremely disrespectful, in my opinion, to shoot your gun off in areas that is as popular as this um, in the wilderness when there's tons and tons of campsites everywhere. Okay, sorry, I had to go on my little rant and like my adrenaline is pumping. So I felt that since my adrenaline was pumping, why don't I work on my bow drill skills? <laughs> uh, so I'm whittling some bow drill type stuff and I'll show you here soon. And Madison is uh, whittling some, oh, you tell him, what are you doing, Madison? Chopsticks, it was my like fourth try. <laughs> she <field>. keeps, <laughs> I told her to find some straight sticks. And there's no straight sticks. <laughs> like all the straight sticks are like this big. So so what is it that we forgot this time was a fork and all we have to eat is noodles. So we, we forgot a lot, a lot we, of stuff. Oh, that's all we forgot, I think. So far that's all I know we forgot. Uh -huh. What else did we forget? Oh wait. No, that's it. Yeah. And um and all we have is spoons and knives. So it's really hard to eat noodles with a spoon. So now we're we're gonna get some chopsticks. Is she, I have faith in you, Madison. You can make a chopstick. I cannot make <laughs> a Okay, guys, let me show you my project here. I am working um, now. What I've done, um, I did. I did bring my bow. So that is. I just want to let you know that is my bow. Um, I brought. It doesn't. It doesn't bow that much though. But that was what I found when I was in California, and I found this this piece of wood but it works for me it works so uh, here's my spindle and on the end of my spindle what I put was some sap so I went over to the tree and there's like a pine tree over here and I put some sap on it and put some sap in this hole um, and when sap gets in there it gets kind of like uh, lubricant kind of um, to it I don't have any oil or anything like that sometimes we put oil in there that works too. yeah and um, I just wanted to try to use the stuff that I found um, here um, and there's an there's another piece in case I want to try that one so I had this one going um, just to let you guys know too I have a 30% success rate to making a ember with my bow drill yeah that's 30% so if I, I get a lot of smoke I don't get a lot of ember but I keep trying and it's just and I need to burn some steam right now because Mama Bear is not too happy with uh, people shooting guns nearby. They could okay. be like five miles away. No, he's right there. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna work on this and then I'm gonna video some of it for you guys too. You can see kind of my struggles and, and, and maybe I'll actually have an ember or I'll have some smoke. We'll see what happens. This is not a how-to tutorial at all. Um, I know how to do it. I just need more strength because I eventually just run out of steam and right at the wrong moment. Um, sometimes I can get it if Madison um, helps out um, because as soon as I start to get that ember, I'm done. <laughs> so so uh, I'm gonna practice, I'm gonna practice, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Madison brought up that we are in a fire ban and yes, we are in a fire ban and I have some water and I feel very safe and I cut this little dirt area out. We're not gonna have some flame come out of the um the friction fire that i'm making so um we will put it out with water in case you are concerned keep going i'm trying 
You see? Not on the camera. I'm smoking. Is it? Yeah. On, on the, the top. top. <laughs> okay, working on my, my bow drill. I think you just saw some of it. Um, however, I got tired again. <laughs> oh my God, it's such a workout. Um, I got some smoke, but by the time uh, Madison grabbed the camera, the smoke was done. Um, but uh, I think I'm going to take a little break. It's about uh, 6.15 right now. The sun's already set behind us, um, and I need to get um, some food cooking. But I want to show you kind of where I was in my, um, uh, my ember creation, my little one. <laughs> <laughs> there is no ember, just so you know, there's no ember, but um, again, I get a 30% chance of, of uh, making it work, but uh, I'm not giving up because I'm not one to give up, and um, I'm going to try it again, but it might be later tonight or tomorrow too, so let me show you. Okay, there's a lot of people that watch my channel that know a lot about bow drills and how they work, but there are some people that um, watch that don't know. So here is my spindle, and my spindle, let's see here goes in here and it twists and turns and so the smoke happens there oxygen and air flowing through here I actually have it cut just a little bit in case you guys are wondering I do have it cut slightly um, let's see if I'll focus there let's see I have it cut a little just slightly let's see these mosquitoes are killing me um, and uh, and so what it creates is this like this little bit of dust here and that little bit of dust ends up turning into an ember. So I was starting to create it. What it does, it fills the cavity until it gets to, to where your, your spindle is turning and then it um, creates an ember. I understand the, the concept of it. I've watched so many videos. It is just really tough to do. And again, this is Aspen that I'm working with. Um, it is what I have here is what I found. And um, so, I'm not gonna totally give up yet. I'm still, I'm just gonna get eaten alive right now. Sorry, uh, you probably don't know, but behind the camera, I have like 10 mosquitoes on my arm. <laughs> um, this is the piece that I found out here, and I don't know, like, isn't that perfect? For, that's a perfect handheld, handhold. And uh, so the top of my spindle, just because I'm working just with one hand right now, the top of the spindle spins as well. But some of the problems that you can have is that you're gonna get smoke here. So what I did is I collected some sap from a tree and uh, the sap ends up turning kind of like a um, little, um, I don't know, like, sappy. <laughs> <laughs> for the lack of a better word. I don't know, I can't think of the word. It makes it kind of like um, just a little greasy, so it spins a little bit faster for me as well. And it will make it so that this doesn't catch on fire too, because that's important. A lot of times I'll get smoke, but I'll get smoke out of the top here and um, not out of this area right here. Um, I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna show me doing it and you guys can kind of see my form. I feel that my form is good. I really do. I feel it's good. I'm comfortable. I'm just, just, I just need more strength. Um, I need to position my weight a little bit more, um, or I need to change the type of wood that I'm using. Um, I'm getting there, but I'm not quite there yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this up. I'm gonna start um, bow drilling. <laughs> for, I don't know what you call it. Anyways, so here's the sap that I have. It's really hard, um, and so I'm gonna put it inside there, and then what I do is I kind of crunch it up. It becomes kind of like a powder. You see, when you do that, it becomes like this powder. And a mosquito is biting me. Um, and then when it heats up, it becomes this like little um, silky kind of paste type stuff, and it makes it so that the top part doesn't um, burn as well. Okay, so to get it started here, I'm just going to take this and I wrap it around. I'm going to position myself over my board that I created, which is basically just a dead aspen stick. 
I'm going to try not to be eaten alive by, uh, by mosquitoes. Um, okay, so what you want to do is you want to put your weight mostly on this hand. Um, so it all depends on how you lean, and that's what I keep trying to focus on is how I'm leaning. Is it still recording? Okay. So then, hold on, i got to take a couple mosquitoes off me. Um, the, my, bo my, my bow might be my issue because I don't really have a lot of room, so I think that might be my issue, and I might have to look for another one. So I usually start really slow. Oh. There we go. You get a rhythm going. You get kind of used to it. And then you go faster. I'm trying to get it. See how it's moving up? Oh, hold on. Got to reposition it. This happens. There we go. For some reason today, my bow is starting to move up. Okay, so there we go. Now we're in position. And then you just keep going until you get smoke. And then you get a lot of smoke. And then you push down with this hand right here with a lot of pressure. Let's see if I can get smoke this time. But I'm out of energy. <sighs> Out of energy. You can see a little, I can see a little bit of smoke there, but I ran out of energy again. I'm tired. Let's eat dinner. So Madison's having a little bit of fun. We got this fun little activity from a subscriber of ours. So thank yeah. you. Madison's loving it. Yeah, I'll it's probably It's a little lose slingshot. It, I'll probably lose it though, because it's camo. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah. I think it broke apart. Well, uh, <laughs> well, we don't have a lot of little rocks here, but we're thinking we might take it on our hike tomorrow. Because I think that'd be kind of fun. As we're hiking, we'll pick up some rocks and and pick up targets. Yeah, totally. Look at we've been. Pine cones seem to work pretty well. Yeah. Okay, let's see this one go. Oh, sorry. Uh, I couldn't get a good pinch on it. Oh. So, yeah, I couldn't. Holy. I'm going to show you guys my project in the tent before we go to bed. Um, this is some stuff that I bought um, for the girls. Oh, Madison's coming in. You can come in. Come on in. So, um, what I bought, I'll show you here. You see that? Aren't these pretty? So I got two little bears. Um, this one is mine and Madison chose the one that is darker. Let's see if I can get to, there we go. They're really cute. And then Kyla decided it'd be different and she chose a um, horse. No, that's a don uh, donkey because this area had a lot of donkeys way back oh. when. It's a mining town. And so she chose this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some necklaces out of it um, for all of us. And uh, and just because I have it out, I'll show you. Look at I, I bought some I bought some new earrings too. I think it's cute. They're little bears. Come on, focus, focus, focus. Oh goodness. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Two little bears. Continue watching our journey on our next episode as we climb between two 14ers and take in the breathtaking views. <laughs>